Hello and welcome, I'm Stormer and this is the Daily Gaming News for the 12th of July 2016. Pokemon Go bug causing app to ask for full Google account access. A bug in the iOS version of Pokemon Go is causing it to ask for full access to a player's Google account. According to developer Niantic, the app is still only requesting basic login and profile information and does not access other aspects of the account such as Gmail or navigation data. The issue only affects players on the iOS platform and not all iOS players are affected. The developer has confirmed that a patch will be issued to fix the game's client to ensure it correctly requests permission in the future. The Antic, who developed Pokemon Go in partnership with Nintendo, have also announced that features such as trading and leaderboards will be coming to the game soon. Vulkan support for Doom now live. Vulkan is an advanced graphics API that provides low-level graphics hardware access for games developed by the Kronos Group who also develop OpenGL. Adding support for Vulkan in Doom means the game will now run at higher frame rates, especially on lower-end hardware due to reduced processing overheads. The game also recently acquired support for a photo mode as well as several bug fixes. Vulkan support in Doom requires the most recent AMD or Nvidia driver software. Frontier cancels Elite Dangerous Combat Tournament. The CQC tournament was announced in November 2015 and was due to enter its final stages by mid-2016. The second phase of the tournament was intended to start in early 2016, but never did. Many players have been upset with Frontier's lack of communication regarding the tournament. The company finally made a statement about the fate of the tournament this week, confirming that it had been cancelled due to delays in the development of features needed to support it. Frontier also said that they will return to the tournament once the underlying features have been completed. That's all the gaming news for today. We'll leave you now with the trailer for Clockwork, an Australian developed platform game that's currently up for voting on Steam Greenlight.